Hey everyone, I thought I'd try something new today by doing an unboxing video and the story behind how I found this is pretty funny. Um, today, me and my mother were at our local Kmart that was actually having a sale because it was finally closing. In all honesty, I thought the Sure Fine would last longer than the Kmart did. But I guess not. Kmart outlasted Sure Fine. But anyways, we went there because everything was on sale and I looked through the toys just to see what I could find, to see if I could find any like collectibles or something and I found these, these, they are Beauty and the Beast, the Emma Watson Beauty and the Beast, the new Beauty and the Beast and they are little figures of the servants. They don't have the wardrobe or the piano or the dog but they have a good amount. They have Fifi the Feather Duster. Her name is Fifi, correct? Or Plumette? I can't ever remember. But they have the Feather Duster, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. And these are actually really detailed, so I wanted to know what brand they were. They are Hasbro. Hasbro brand and in the past when I've seen Hasbro dolls or anything Hasbro doll related um it's been very I don't know to me they just seem like very half-assed like the outfits are usually well it's just they aren't articulated when I feel like they could obviously be I say this and I'm literally custom making brat dolls who are like the most difficult but I don't know I feel like they could have done something with the Hasbro dolls but they didn't usually at least not that I've seen if I'm wrong comment and tell me but this is changing my opinion so I'm gonna unbox this bad boy and I'll be back to show you the figures hello everyone I unboxed it and I kind of want to show you the packaging again the background is so beautiful. I obviously had to damage it because of it being the fact that I had to cut the box open. But it's so pretty and they even have a little molding on the plastic and it's very pretty and my cat just decided to come up here but now that I took the box away from him he left. So oh well. But anyways continuing on I'm going to show you the figures. And let's start with Miss Potts. And these are really interesting feel. They're kind of like very weird plastic feel, but they're very cute. And the detailing is amazing. But of course, the thinner areas are very floppy because of the feel of the plastic. Like you can see, I'm actually moving it. But for the most part, they are very lovely and very perfect very beautiful. Um, with Chip though, because he is in fact just a hollow little teacup, he's very bendy. But for the most part, he is really cute, just like his mother. And then we have someone who is very fragile up, fragile, fragile up top, the feather duster. And she, like, literally, I thought she was going to break when I was trying to get her out of the box. But she stayed intact, and I'm very happy for that. Also, I apologize if the lighting's not the best, but I chose to film this at a terrible time. Um, the next one I have is Cogsworth, who the detailing on, you can feel the texture, but his little arms... The little arm that sticks out is very fragile as well, and the same with his leg, so I will try my very best to be careful with you. And then we have Lumiere, who is just lost in this lighting, but he is extremely bendy and extremely fragile. I swear to God, I thought the plastic was going to break or something when I was getting him out, but... It's safe, it's good, and there he be. So yay! Um, that was my, I don't know, was that my first unboxing? I think that may have been my first unboxing video, if I'm wrong. Oh well. 
but yeah, I like these and they're very cute, so thumbs up. Yay! You know what I might do now? I might start doing unboxings a little bit more. I'll try. I don't have the most money, so it's kind of hard to get things to unbox. But, you know, for now, thank you so much for watching. And, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Bye!